In episode 69, we took a look at the idea that intelligence is a set of behaviors that can be cultivated rather than strictly an innate capacity of our brain, of our wetware. We looked specifically at how the behavior of arrogance is antithetical to intelligence and is the penultimate behavior that constitutes stupidity and idiocy. In this episode, we're going to continue our examination of intelligence and its opposite, stupidity, by looking at how our cultural ethos, the characteristic spirit of our culture, has enshrined the behavior and performance of arrogance. Let's begin with a simple question. Does a fish really rot from the head down? There's an ancient Greek saying that states a fish rots from the head down, meaning that organizations assimilate the core values of their leaders. They become a reflection and an embodiment of the value system of their leadership. The basic idea is that when an organization decays, disease spreads from the powerful to the less powerful. A similar argument can be made that a culture assimilates its values from its pedestal gods, the celebrities, athletes, politicians, and artists. Here is an important point. Now, whether a culture's leaders are the symptom or whether they are the actual disease is arguable, and it's not the primary point. The primary point is that we can examine the powerful within a culture to try to understand that culture's ethos. It's clear that capitalism, through a form of Darwinian natural selection, bestows competitive advantage on specific types of behavior. As we'll see later in this episode, the performance of arrogance is clearly favored by late capitalism. In episode 69, I acknowledge that arrogance operates very effectively inside the system of capitalism, but serves to undermine the capacity of the artist to gain a clear understanding Regarding the true nature of their work, arrogance destroys the human learning mechanism and it erects nearly insurmountable barriers to the continued intellectual and emotional development of the human, depending, of course, on the severity of the disease. It's important to once again point out that it is possible for the career to flourish while the work itself, the art, and the human withers. And it should be obvious that it's completely possible to be, wild, to be a wildly successful idiot, again, with the understanding of the idiot in the truest sense of the word. So let's turn our attention to a quick look at the pedestal gods of our culture to gain a deeper insight into how the masses assimilate the performance and behavior of arrogance. I'm standing up and I'm telling you I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, Nike, Google, People hate like on Yeezy and stuff because of how much he bigs himself up, right? Mm -hmm. But what's wrong with that? What if we all did that as people and stopped recognizing it as being egotistical or being into yourself and saying, I understand how powerful I am as a person. Mm. What's wrong with that? You know? Don't you think that's what offends people so much about Kanye is that he's willing to say that he's capable of things that to people and the way that they view things, they just think that it seems completely impossible. Like when he said, I can make clothes, I can design all this stuff. Like nobody five, six years ago ever would have thought that he could have done anything close to what he's done with Yeezy. A hundred percent. Oh. A hundred percent. People and hate when you set your sights so high that they can't imagine you hitting those but heights. But that's the thing. What if all of us as people did that? What if all of us as people did that? Mm. Now, if you okay. want to carry on being a smart ass, you can leave the room. Oh, I'm not being a smart ass. So either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the questions. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. There is a house in New Orleans. It's called the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy. And God, I know I'm one. Because you just told me that you were a little bit annoyed that you had to wait Very three annoyed. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. 
Well, why are you doing this? So why, why with all like the attitude? What's the, what's the problem? No, there's no problem at all. I, I think that, I don't know why you guys, there's no problem. You walked in mm -hmm. very sulky, quite rude, very aggressive, and you've got very, very bad energy. Oh, man. You do. Let's have a little conversation about this. <laughs> I wanna, I was trying to seem confident. <laughs> I was trying to seem confident. <laughs> what if all of us as people did that? Of you saying, Boosie is the biggest piece of shit, egotistical asshole on this earth. <laughs> I have bipolar and depression. Feelings matter, bro. Feelings matter, bro. It's a new world, Hillary Clinton. This is the way of thinking to make America great again. This is the way of thinking to make America great again. Uh, I'm a very intelligent person. Nobody builds walls better than me. Nobody wants to take care of DACA more than myself. Nobody knows more about trade than me. Nobody loves the Bible more than I do. Nobody is stronger. Nobody cherishes and nobody respects women more than Donald Trump. Nobody been tougher on Russia. Nobody that understands the horror of nuclear better than me. Love the First Amendment. Nobody know, loves it better than me. And there's nobody that loves the Second Amendment more than I do. Nobody can do it like I do it. Instead of one person, what if all of us believed in ourselves with that same tenacity? Imagine how much bigger the ideas would get. All of a sudden, it won't just be Elon Musk at the top. I'm a creative genius, and there's no other way to word it. I know you're not supposed to say that about yourself. I, you know, for me to say I wasn't a genius, I would just be lying to you and to myself. <laughs> I would just be lying to you and to myself. I think Donald Trump is an artful liar. I think he is a greedy, vicious, and arrogant man. Well, I don't know, is that supposed to be a compliment? He comes off as being very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arrogant? Yeah, he's, an, he's, he's arrogant. <laughs> I like him. You do. Man's got a maid, got everything. Systems like pop music, commercial real estate, politics, and celebrity establish complex sets of rules, and it can be argued that material quote-unquote success within the constraints of the system are existence proof of a kind of intelligence. In other words, Kanye West and Donald Trump are wildly successful. Therefore, ipso facto, they are wildly intelligent. My argument is that arrogance is a disease agent with the capacity to eat away at the very tissue of intelligence and that just as once virile athletes can be laid low and laid waste to by physical disease, arrogance can, can consume and destroy the once mighty intellect, leaving in its path a fetid, stinking corpse.